Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now let me discuss about on the use of site information for mining text data. Now let me discuss about abstract. In many text mining applications, site information is available along with the text documents. Such site information may be different kinds such as document provenance information, the links in the document, the user access behavior from web blocks or non-textual attributes which are embedded into the text document. Such attributes may contain tremendous amount of information for clustering purpose. However, the relative importance of site information may be difficult to estimate, especially when some of the information is noisy. In such case, it can be risky to incorporate site information into mining process because it can either improve the quality of representation of the mining process or can add noise to the process. Therefore, we need principal way to perform the mining process so as to maximize the advantages from using site information. In this paper, we design an algorithm which combines the classical partitioning algorithm with probabilistic model in order to create an effective clustering approach. We then show how to extend the approach to classification problem. We present experimental results on number of real data sets in, in order to illustrate the advantages of using such an approach. Now let me tell about flow diagram. In flow diagram the data loading and pre-processing module is presented. In data loading and pre-processing the data initial data should be created and loaded into the database. In pre-processing the garbage value should be eliminated. In feature selection process the effective features can be retrieved. Next, the cl in clustering process, the attribute should be clustered. In classification process, the cluster should be repartitioned. Next, we have to perform the link based classification to improve the accuracy of clusters. Now let me run our process. We starts from the home page. In this frame, we have to select the initial data set. Select the new dot item data set. This is the movie lens data set. After selecting the day in raw data set, we have to perform the pre-processing. In pre-processing step, the garbage value should be eliminated. Display the pre-processed data. After pre-processing, we have to get the initial attributes. After getting the initial attributes, we have to calculate the entropy value of each attribute. Next, we have to calculate the entropy value of each attribute. Next, we have get the final attributes. The final attributes guessed depends upon the information gain value of each attributes. Next, we will find out the similarity of attributes using cosine similarity. After calculating the similarity of attributes, we have to cluster in the attributes. In cluster 1, the attributes advent and children is grouped. This is the similarity value of attribute.
after clustering is performed the classification is performed the cluster one is repartitioned and each cluster is repartitioned the classification performed using svm classification svm is support vector machine after calculating the support vector machine classification we have to classify the link based classification this url is the side information or axillary attribute we have to perform the side information based classification we have get the results this is the movie id this is the year this is the release year thank you